Hi, this is Artifacts from Mars, and Obama is spitting on our faces, which is nothing new. Invoking a rarely used provision in federal law, the Obama administration on Tuesday announced a permanent ban on offshore drilling in broad parts of the Arctic and Atlantic coasts, a sweeping and controversial move that will help secure the president's environmental legacy, even as critics vowed to reverse it. In other words, he uh, wants us to import oil and eventually get rid of oil because these people hate wealth. Oil and coal, when they're pumped, they create wealth. Solar panels don't. Ban relies on the Outer Continental Shelf Lands Act of 1953, which says the President may from time to time withdraw federal waters oil and gas development that are not already leased. It was announced as part of a joint action with Canada where Prime Minister Justin Trudeau also made long-term, though not permanent, commitments to protect the Arctic from drilling. Obama cited the Arctic's unique ecosystem risk of damage from the spill, high cost of working in a remote and frigid region, and concerns about climate change. It would take... Decades to fully develop the production infrastructure necessary for any large-scale oil and gas leasing productions in the region. At the time, they need to continue to move decisively away from fossil fuels, the president said in a recent written statement. Decades? Uh, you underestimate the uh, private sector, Mr. Obama. Announcement coming one month to the day before Obama is to be succeeded by President White Donald Trump is intended to help counter plans by an incoming administration to vastly expand oil extraction by fossil fuel companies. In other words, Trump wants to make us energy independent, and Obama wants us to be energy dependent. Trump made clear his intentions for robust new drilling during the campaign and his appointment to key cabinet posts of long-time loyalists. The oil industry has alarmed environmentalists. Major conservation groups have, have been pushing Obama in recent weeks to push put the offshore areas off limit in perpetuity. Past presidents, including Dwight D. Eisenhower, have invoked the law to issue temporary bans. Obama's actions appears the first time the law has been used to impose a permanent drilling ban is almost certainly certain to be challenged. Senior administration official said Tuesday the House was quite confident that the decision could not be undone by Trump, knowing that the law specifies no provision for reversal. Officials suggested that overturning the ban could require years of legal action and the passage of a bill in Congress. Well, we'll get it taken down one way or the other. Uh, this country needs to be energy independent. I, for one, am tired of these uh, the Arabs and their uh, you know keeping us working for them so screw them and screw Obama I'll be so glad when the city is gone I'm Artifacts Mars thanks for watching